Hello. So what do we do? Shall we continue the adventure? Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia. It is not possible. Oh, what have I done? Oh, why me? Excuse me, um, can I help you? Uh, I would be pleased to lend you a paw. Oh, of course. See, you, a tourista and a bear, you are perfectly capable of seeing what is wrong in these postcards. Uh -huh. I like playing spot the mistakes. But just a look at them. I know there are mistakes, but I can't find them. Let's take a look at this postcard. It shouldn't be that difficult. You are very observant. You are a right. Mamma mia. I hope it is the last one. <coughs> Grazie mille. Senor, you saved my life. What can I do for you? I'm looking for my Aunt Lucy. I think that she came to visit the Colosseum. And you, little bear, would you like some souvenirs? You were telling me that my Aunt Lucy... Oh, see. Si. Ah, well, your aunt. Uh, she was going to... Um, leaving for... Um, St. Peter's Square. Arrivederci. Let's hurry. We have to catch up with her. I'm behind you. See how serious this guard looks. He must be hot and hungry too. Would you like one of my sandwiches? Oops, sorry. Are you crazy or what? Oh, what have you done? Now look, I'm all dirty. Bravo. Well, you must go and find my other suit at the dry cleaners. Please be quick. Oh, unfortunately, today is not my day. I have lost the keys to my Vespa. Please find the keys. Then you can take my Vespa. But you must leave at once. Open your suitcase. Click on the infantry and select the magnifying glass. That way you will be able to search the ground. Shall we continue the adventure? Oh, unfortunately, today is not my day. I have lost the keys to my Vespa. Please find the keys. Here they are. I'll wait for you here. Please be careful. I'm going now. I won't be long. Slowly. Careful! Ouch! I must succeed. You can do it! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Careful! Excellent! Continue! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Good! Almost! Careful! 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 Oh, gosh! Just a little effort, and that's it. I hope that you're satisfied. Oh, thank you. But now that I think of it, 
Oh, what a day it's been. This suit you just brought me. Well, another bear put a stain on it earlier. It can only be your Aunt Lucy, right? Do you know where she's gone? Actually, she said she couldn't help me because she had to leave at once for the Trevi Fountain. This picture will be splendid. Back up a little. Is it all right there? One more step. Be careful, the young bear. Excuse me, I didn't... I don't have a time to listen to your explanations. You, leave me alone. I have a promise to finish this statue for my fiancé's birthday. But that is today. Oh, mamma mia, I have not finished. I don't even have a bouquet of flowers. Please calm down and go and look for your flowers. I'll take care of the sculpture for you. Oh, grazie mille. My workshop is just there. Look, the sculpture's already been started. Hmm. Well, let's get to work, my friend. <sighs> A left arm. Mm. Are you sure it goes there? Look at this position. <laughs> it's very funny. The model really seems to be concentrating. Mm. Absolutely, it is this arm. A right arm. Absolutely, it is this arm. The head. Here it is. My masterpiece is finished. Good work. Bene! What a marvel! It is a really a piece of art. But it's a sculpture of Aunt Lucy. Yes, I wanted to make this statue for her. But I didn't have enough time to finish it. She left like the wind. Woof! Mamma mia! She left in such a hurry for Paris! Aunt Lucy has always been fascinated by the French can-can. Let's go inside. She could be here. Madam, but Mr. Brown, what are you doing on this stage? You... you are not my partner? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm running late. Please, could you take his place for the audition? It's very easy. You just have to copy me. Yes, I'm very keen on dancing, but I'm not sure that I'm very good at it. Come on, young bear. Show me what you can do. Follow my path and the rhythm. Watch what I do and copy me. Come on, young bear. Show me what you can do. More! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> All right, let's start again. Be brave. Just do as I do. Bravo! Yahoo! <laughs> All right, let's start again. Follow my path and the rhythm. Bravo! Yahoo! <laughs> that wasn't that bad in the end. Come on, young bear. Show me what you can do. Yahoo! <laughs> Bravo! Yahoo! All right, let's start again.
follow my path and the rhythm. More! Yahoo! <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! All right, let's start again. Follow my path and the rhythm. Yahoo! <laughs> Very good. Bravo! More! Thank you so much. I think I'll get hired. I wasn't that bad in the end. This dancer has met Aunt Lucy. Apparently, she wanted to take part in the audition. Unbelievable. Yes, that's right. But she was too small to be a dancer. She was a little disappointed and left just after to buy a ticket for the Eiffel Tower. Mr. Brown, please come down. Let's go and look for your aunt. Oh, look, Mr. Brown. It is so big and beautiful. Bonjour. I have lost the key to the Eiffel Tower lighting control panel. And I have to quickly go and fix the machinery. I've also lost someone. My Aunt Lucy. Have you... S I am sorry, young bear. I do not have the time. Please take the metal detector and I will help you as soon as you have found the key. And you, sir? Gruber. Mr. Gruber. Could you come and give me some help? With pleasure. It won't take long. Yes, no problem. I'll see you in a moment, Mr. Brown. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. When you are getting closer to the metal object, you'll hear the beeping sound getting louder. When you have found the key, join us. Okay, I'm ready. It seems like there's something over there. Well, well, there aren't enough coins. I have to search harder. Well, well, more change. Let's carry on. Well, well, goodness, I'm almost rich, but I still need this key.
Well, well, here it is. Here's the key. I've got it. Very good. Bring it here. Take the key and put it in the lock. Open your suitcase, click on the inventory and select the key. Take the key and put it in the lock. Let's get back to looking for Aunt Lucy. Here it is. What should I do with this key? Put it in the lock on the machine. Now put the key in the hole and switch on the machine. And now I can help you in a return. What are you looking for? Have you seen my Aunt Lucy by any chance? Uh, no, unfortunately. But... I suggest that we write her name with the help of these switches. That way, her name will appear in giant letters on the Eiffel Tower. If your aunt is somewhere near, she'll know that someone's looking for her. Push these switches. Look at the screen where the squares will turn yellow. You will be able to check by looking at the screen to see if the letters are correct. The letter L is already done. The letter U is almost done. You need to finish it and then do the other two letters. It is easy. To find out how to write Lucy, open your suitcase, click on the inventory and look at the frame. L U C why? It is not very difficult. Let's carry on with the adventure. Hmm. I think I'm getting closer. It's not easy. Hmm. I think I'm getting closer. Thank you. Now we can see the result. Au revoir, my friends. I hope that you will find your auntie. My aunt's name's flashing. Lucy, is it your aunt? What a shame. She was here with me, but unfortunately she just left. She went to the Louvre Museum. Hurry up, we've got to go. My Aunt Lucy loves paintings, and if there's one portrait she especially likes, it's the Mona Lisa. Remember, she even has a poster of it in her room. Look, Mr. Brown, he is really gifted, isn't he? Oh, yes, congratulations. It's a good likeness. Thank you. Oh, a bear. You're not part of Lucy's family, are you? It's Aunt Lucy. Is it true? Then, please, don't move. I did a wonderful sketch of your aunt. I absolutely have to show it to you. Let me go find it for you. I live just around the corner. Hmm. But while I'm gone, I would like you to help me finish this painting. I have to show it to a collector this evening. First, choose another brush. 
First, I have to choose a color. I must do some brown. If I mix yellow and red, I get orange. If I mix blue, yellow and red, I get brown. <coughs> How peculiar. It doesn't appear to be finished to me. Look carefully, there are still parts which need painting. How peculiar. It doesn't appear to be finished to me. <coughs> How peculiar. If I mix red and blue, I get purple. <coughs> if I mix blue, yellow and red, I get brown. Look carefully, there are still parts which need painting. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Choose another color. It doesn't appear to be finished to me. <laughs> now it's finished. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? I'm quite proud of myself. You are right. It's splendid. Oh, our friend the painter is back. I'm so sorry. It took me quite a while to find it. Look. Oh yes, absolutely. It matches perfectly. Do you know where she could be now? Yes. She told me she was going to Hong Kong. Thank you. And now, let's go and find Aunt Lucy. This statue's huge. We ought to separate to look at her. I'll be waiting for you downstairs. All right. Excuse me, I'm looking for my aunt. If it's a bear, I haven't seen one. But maybe you could help me. I must finish these necklaces before it starts raining. Oh, I would be so grateful to you. I could help you to look after her afterwards. Be careful, and watch the necklace pattern. I think I understood. Watch more carefully. Quick, it's going to rain soon. Yes, one more flower. You must make exactly the same necklace. I think I understood. Go on, you lucky bear. There are still six flowers missing. These flowers smell very, very good. Go on, you 
lucky bear. You must make exactly the same necklace. These flowers smell very, very good. There are still five flowers missing. Yes, one more flower. Go on, you lucky bear. Here it is. I did it. Thank you. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh no! My necklaces will be all damaged before I can take them to my grandma. Where is your umbrella? Take it, please. Where is your umbrella? Let's carry on with the adventure. I'm opening it. Let's go. I'll protect you and your necklaces with my umbrella. Quick, let's go down and get my grandma. Come on. You must always stay close to me. I can't follow you. Don't stop here. You mustn't stop. What are you doing? Please, wait for me. What are you doing? Stay close to me to shelter me. Please, don't go so fast. Here it is. We have arrived. My, my grandma is over there. Look, it stopped raining. Ah, Mr. Brown, here you are. Smell this scent and notice how beautiful it is. Grandma, here are some new necklaces. This bear has helped me and protected them from the rain. Heaven must have sent you. How can I thank you? Well, did you by any chance meet my Aunt Lucy? Is she a member of your family? She bought a necklace from me and left to go to eat at a restaurant. Let's go and have something to eat for a change. We can go back to our hunt later. You never know, perhaps Aunt Lucy has also eaten here. Excuse me, please. Could you bring us the menu? We're very hungry. Oh, so you're hungry, are you? I can't believe you can't see the difference between a black belt karate expert and a creepy waiter. You're going to have to apologize by serving me, and right now. So go to these stalls and fetch the ingredients which the cook needs. You hurry up, or you're going to regret it, kid. Uh-oh, please. Don't make him angry. Don't do that, or he will destroy my restaurant. Take the necessary quantity of ingredients without complaining. I must take four of these, mushrooms, three of these, egg yolks, two of these, shrimps, nine of these, chicken legs, six of these, portions of rice. I have almost all the ingredients. I'm not missing much. I have almost all the ingredients. I'm not missing much. I must take three of these portions of rice. 
I have almost all the ingredients. I need more two of these portions of rice. I'm not missing much. Now I have everything. Give me your basket. I'll prepare this idiot's dish right away. This man is a brute. It's ready. Careful, it's hot. Gosh, you are quick. Now let's see if you're as strong as you seem. I'm going to try, but I'm not sure I can do it. Okay, now concentrate. You can feel the power. But wait until the light comes on before you hit. That will increase your concentration. When the light comes on, it is the best moment to hit. You must hit in the center to break the object. Break this slat. Gosh, this is tough. I must do it. Yes! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't know I was that strong. When the light comes on, click in the middle. Break these two slats. I must aim better. I didn't know I was that strong. To make sure you break the object, hit in the middle. Break these three slats. Uh, yes! Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's amazing what we can do with a little bit of concentration. All right then, show me what you can do. I need a laugh. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you succeeded, but you can try. Break this brick. I didn't know I was that strong. Victory! I've done it! So you think you're strong? <laughs> now try to break this brick just to see. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, good riddance. That oddball won't bother us anymore. Mr. Brown. The cook told me he had already met a bear looking like you. It must be Aunt Lucy. She left to see a shadow puppet. Let's catch up show. with her. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my. How am I going to manage? What's the matter? Do you need some help? My assistant is sick. And I cannot move all these puppets by myself. It is a big responsibility, but maybe I can take his place. The God of the Sun had three daughters. They were all beautiful and honest. The elder daughter was skilled in agriculture. The second daughter was trying to discover the virtues of medicinal herbs. The youngest daughter was called Nua. She was very courageous and very determined. Once upon a time, on the shore of the Oriental Sea, young Nua saw some beautiful multicolored shells scattered on the beach. She walked in the sea, gathering the beautiful shells. She looked enviously at the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, thinking, oh, how wonderful it would be if humans could walk on the earth, fly in the sky, and swim in the water. Suddenly, she saw a beautiful palace. It looked like it was very close on the sea. She climbed into a small boat and started rowing. Paddington wore the boat. She 
roared and roared. But when the sun set, she still had not reached the palace. You must move the boat on the waves. Carry on, making the boat go ahead. And then the night came, and Lua felt thirsty and hungry, but she still kept on rowing. Move the waves towards the boat. In the deep dark of the night, the stars were shining. Taking advantage of the moonlight, Lua rode and rode harder toward the palace. Suddenly, a strange sound was heard from under the water. Big waves broke in front of the little boat, and the king dragon of the sea came up from beneath the water. Paddington, you must make the sea dragon come up from the water. The king dragon said, Hey, little girl, why have you come here so late at night to disturb my nice dreams? You hurry and go back home immediately. Noah said, Please excuse me, old dragon king. I I am on my way to see the beautiful palace. The Dragon King could see that Noah was not going to go back. So he blew on the water and the sea became very stormy. The small boat was tossed around in the waves like a leaf now moved a stick of the dragon's breath. King threatened Noah. Because of this threat, Noah started rowing with vigor to throw her boat against the dragon. Move the boat, rush towards the dragon and knock him down. The king dragon sunk in the water. Sometimes, Noah's little boat was propelled high in the air and sometimes to the bottom of the waves. Then, a furious wind blew from the sky. Black clouds appeared. A storm started. The little boat hit a reef 
and broke into many pieces. At this time, the morning came. A red sun rose up in the sky. The soul of Noah was transformed into a small bird spreading its wings towards the sun. What's up with you, my little friend? This little story has reminded me how sad I am. He has lost his aunt, and we're looking for her. An auntie? Like you? Is she called Lucy? She is a very honorable person. She was very thoughtful, too. She left after the show to go to London. I can't wait to see Aunt Lucy again. How fun. When I think that she's quietly waiting for us in London, and we have been looking for her all this time, and she wanted to make it a surprise, just as we did. And this is our last present. Your nephew, Paddington. Happy birthday, Aunt Lucy. I've brought back some presents for you. Your embroidery, your hat, and... So, you have finished my embroidery. How nice. Thank you, Paddington. Please take it. I had forgotten it. I wanted to offer you this gift to thank you for your hospitality. Aunt Lucy, I still have one more present. I hope that it is not too big. I won't be able to carry it all back to Lima. Don't worry, Aunt Lucy. It's as small as you. So, what am I going to start with? Do you want to select an adventure?